Oh, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just prepping my uh, new sign. If you guys can't see it. You know what time it is. It is time for We Never Learn... Actually, I'm keeping this next to me. It is time for We Never Learn, episode 10. And you already know just how much I'm looking forward to this episode. If you guys didn't see my last episode of reaction, you should watch it just for the ending, where I got to cream my pants a little bit. We finally got to meet her. The moment I saw that maid cafe, I was like, we're fucking meeting sen uh, senpai. Yes. We get to meet the lolly senpai. And I, it's funny though, like everyone said, like in the in in the uh, series, everyone jokes around that it is the lolly senpai. But I, I never really got that kind of feel from her. She, yeah, she has a petite-ish body, but I never like saw her as, hey, that's a look at. But yes, this is we never learned Boku Ben episode ten, a lost lamb in new territory encounters X. Oh God, it's probably gonna be one of my favorite episodes. I haven't really been this excited since we got to see Shikami and <laughs> Renai Boken. Cause I'm I'm weird and I like Shikami. I don't know why. I I need to I really need to read the manga. I really need to read the manga because I heard like she becomes best girl later on and I liked her even beforehand. But I have my thing by the way, there is a little bit of a parenthesis if, on the very bottom, right there. Asami's best girl, outside of Kirisu Sensei. Because I am a manga reader, and yes, Kirisu Sensei is best girl right now, but Asami was my number one for the longest time. In fact, yeah, they can they can kind of be on the same level, especially that scene with the clinic and Asami and Nariyuki and the kiss of things, kissing something on the something. Not the lips. I wish it was the lips, but it was still good enough. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. You already know what it is. I'm ready to jump into this episode. I'm ready to see Best Girl in action. So, guys, without further ado, let us jump into episode 10. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Let me see her. Let me see her. Let me see that Best Girl. Yeah! Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Don't make me hold the sign. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm like listening to her, her, I'm listening to her, because it's the first time I'm actually hearing her speak. Oh yeah, look at me like that more. <laughs> she is legal! <laughs> Oh man, it's so weird seeing her like this, cause like, it's completely different from, um, it's completely different from how she is portrayed now especially, like, seeing her like this, it's a complete, like, oh hi there, tan lines, um, seeing her like this, it's a, it's a complete 180. <laughs> like, I want to do a scene comparison of like chapter X whenever this is shown. Um, compared to now, like, oh man, the amount of, like, difference, like, it, it's funny how seen, like, because I'm repeating this, in a way, because this is mostly shot for shot, for the most part, from what I can remember, um, but, one thing that I can definitely say is that when, hey, best girl, um, being able to see them like this, it's kind of a breath of fresh air, if you, in a way. It's a breath of nostalgia at the same time. Because if you think about it, 
I don't remember seeing them because I'm so used to seeing them how they are now. I mean, Rizu is starting to act like she is, like how she is in the manga. Takamoto's kind of the same way, although granted, when we get to get more into her development um, and all that stuff, it, it needs to be interesting. Takamoto's relatively the same. It's Kirusa Sensei and um, um, Asami that probably do the most 180. Rizu always had that kind of. Um, that kind of like childish mentality and Fumino was Fumino oh you know what? fuck it just for now just for the anime, for the time being, and if they ever announce a second season, Asumi's best girl. Sorry, Kirisu Sensei, you're great and all, but that's the manga. I don't even. Even though I know how Asumi is in the manga, I'm so I'm I'm playing favorites right now. I don't think we have prep schools here in in the states. Well, especially where I live. I mean, we have more like what we call magnet schools, which are schools specifically tailored for certain things, but y it, nothing like prep schools where you go there for extra stuff. <laughs> Slap me, please. <laughs> She is tiny. <laughs> I think you're in the red light district. Or something close, something akin to that. I really wish they showed more of these guys, and the, cause they they show them like only briefly. <laughs> Why? How did this happen? <sighs> Let me see it. I need to see this animated. You know, maids don't really do too much for me. I've also never been to a maid cafe, and we do have them here, not in Vegas. We have something else. I need to see more of that, that flustered face, please. <laughs> I, 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 I will admit, I, I kind of gave her a little bit of a different voice in my head, but it still works. I really do hope we're going to get a little bit of her, like, a little bit of her, like, story, but I, I, I kind of feel like we're not... Yeah, you have to look up to best girl. <laughs> now they <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
She has a much more childish voice in my head. I kind of have. I, I kind of have. Like just slightly deeper is how it, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll get used to it eventually. It just I've had that voice in my head for so damn long. And the senpai has became become the. <laughs> Hey, I, I, I see that little <laughs> Hey, you girls know what's up to. You guys realize, oh, by the way, she's best girl. You should probably get in, you know, kind of work it out, you know? This is just, uh, I just sent my microphone. You wing women. But if you think about it, it is a give and take relationship where, be, where you could be like, he's studying and she'll help him where he needs help too. Because like she's not dumb. Like she she, like for example, I'm Asian. I'm horrible at math. I know I'm a I am a. Geographic oddity. But, yeah. I happen to be really good at some most subjects. Well, I Good, not really good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn there. Hey, what up? Th yep, that, that voice I can definitely hear. Oh yep, yep. Now I remember. Now I, now I remember how I think of this. How this goes. This is great. <laughs> Medical school is ridiculously hard, though. I've heard the amount of studying. I know a lot of people actually turn to. Shoot, what is it? Um, it's a type of drug. Um, it, may, it helps you focus. Everything. I think we really just recently saw just how much you wanted to become a doctor and the reason why. Oh, look at that flaccid face. Oh, God. Like me in math. Give me anything outside of like. Granted, I don't know a lot of stuff I learned in, in school was kind of stupid. I never use again.
Look at that garter belt. And that's when I realized she might just be best girl material. And then I continued reading. And she became best girl material. <laughs> you got approval, my boy! <laughs> She is ridiculously tiny, though. Yes. <sighs> the height difference is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even reach. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, uh, Cause Ashumi, Asumi. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> By the way, really, like, in all honesty, still at this point in the manga, I was still Team Takamoto. But then I joined the Asami army later on. I don't know what the- I, I don't know the name for the ki Kirisu. Because the Kirisu Knights doesn't sound work. KK, but it doesn't work. I don't know. I learned a pachometer once. I hated it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! English is 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 the, what, what is wrong? <laughs> oh, that's why she has her she has clips on her face. Is she even a croquette? It's either croquette or anpan. It is anpan. It's a Nagatoro joke if you... yeah. Like, in all honesty though, Asami is like... Like, top tier waifu. She knows what she wants to do. She's got her shit together. She's a fucking flirt. And she's cute as all hell. She's also best girl. And she has moments of weakness that is fu I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it because I really recommend you just experience it yourself. But her her moments of weakness is so so goddamn good. <laughs> Tor torrent torrential rain no not tarantula rain if it was raining tarantulas I'd, I I would turn into the biggest little girl you've ever seen I, I, I'm not good with spiders but much I'm much better at spiders than with scorpions you show me a scorpion I'm gonna kind of lose my shit eh, kind of I, I was oh, it's, I have a pause button. Your defense doesn't work.
<laughs> I totally forgot. That's the bra I recommended. <laughs> Like, it's weird, it has moments where, like, the animation, like, is really smooth. Oh, Fumina. Oh, no! scary <laughs> see I love her she's level headed she doesn't like oh fluster time like it's cute and all but you need a mix, and she's that perfect balance. And you know what they mean about you know what they say about perfect balances? Asami's best girl. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> for now for now oh boy oh man you know I actually really made this page like right before I actually started recording and like okay so I have yes Asami's best girl and then right behind it just in case you forgot you know it's still best girl like, I, I need to have, like, a list of who's best girl this season. So whenever I react to something, I can just flip to the page. Then it can also remind you of the previous best girls. I mean, honestly, no one will really top Nina right now because... Perfect. Um, but awesome me. <sighs> like, like, I love Kirisu Sensei simply because... She does grow the most, I feel like, from where she started off at. But Asami probably has what I, like, truly want in a woman in terms of, like, personality. Like, if you think about it, Takamoto, she's got the tan line, she's a tomboy. That's great. It's, those are physical. I want, like, the actual person. Asami has her shit together for the most part. And she can... Ha let me let me see what happens next. After this, I'm, I'm gonna mute unmute it in a second. There's a fly going around my room. Or a gnat. It's a gnat. All right, let's see. <laughs> She's humming the beam. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. He's so focused on entrance exam and studying. Oh, 
オムライス I love her. I love her. I love her. You damn woman. <laughs> he ate it. Oh, I know what happens next episode. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good for my heart. I'm going to die, guys. Next episode. Is gonna not be good for my heart. Okay, but yeah, going back to what I was saying, um, Kirisu Sensei, I think I liked it the most because I, I am a sucker for character development, and Kirisu Sensei literally has the probably the best out of all of them, um, so far. I mean, there's there's more than likely we're gonna probably see more from the other girls. I don't think we're gonna get to see any more any more from Asumi. We kind of recently wrapped her up as much as she could be. So honestly, anything with her right now could probably could really I can only really see her get wrapped up with just more like just some extra other stuff. But in terms of like character development, I don't really know how they could enhance on it. If he, I'm pretty sure Negi Negi San, the author and creator and the writer, I don't know if he's yeah the yeah the creator, um, probably could do something. But me personally, I just don't know. Could he? Sure. I just don't know. Like from what what has been shown, I can't see him really progress awesome anymore. Kirisu Sensei, kind of the same thing. Really, she has changed so much. Um, the only thing I, like that I could see, no, I couldn't even see this happening. Um, but that they could change probably her emotional state, like on her face, like all the time where she just constantly has this face on her. Um, hold on, let me let me just remove this really quick. That oh, well, hold on, I love it that face <laughs> um but uh, it kind of like works with her character so that, like that shouldn't be changed um but honestly furuhashi they can expand they've given her or fumino furuhashi whatever they've given her a lot of backstory but they could expand in fact last chapter i believe gave us a good amount it was more of her father um but it was kind of like showing some of the relationship between him, her, and the father. And they've already done that with Asami. Kirisu, we get to meet later on one of her relatives, part of her family. Um, but that's about it. Rizu, we know the dad. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't really see much of anything else that I can really remember. And if they did, they don't really have that much of a presence compared to the father. The father is that comedic... Um, the comedic trope and then furahashi of course um yeah so and then takamoto really we don't get a lot of takamoto takamoto is the one that honestly needs the most development because honestly she gets the most development in the beginning because honestly the other girls don't really get too much but takamoto was the whole childhood friend it's more of like just a, a, a the older um a crush from long ago or longer ago um, so she had that going for her, but she's kind of been left to the wayside. I really hope Takamoto gets at least more development and expand upon her a little more, because honestly, right now, she's my least favorite, because all the other girls got more development, and that's the reason why I think Kyrgyz Sensei is right right now best girl. But in terms of, like, what I personally would look for in a girl, Asami easily takes that spot. Like, Kyrgyz Sensei, yeah, she, she also, she, like, she already has her shit together. Like, Asami wa knows what she wants to do, Kyrgyz already has that. Um, but Asami, I think it's just because of her, like, her drive, that is, like, I find appealing. Um, but like I said, both of these girls are fantastic, all the girls are fantastic, but by, easily by far my favorite too, as of right now, from someone who's read the manga, and uh, someone who's reacting to the anime. My Mafuyu, or Kirisu Sensei, and Asami, definitely the top two girls, and they're honestly neck and neck. Um, it's more personal taste versus... It's all personal taste, I mean, but it's also personal taste and then my own philosophy on characterization and development. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling on too much about something about a fucking romantic comedy harem thing. So I'm going to go wrap this up and thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments of the episode. What do you guys thought of it? And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.